Hello everyone and welcome to another Power Gaming video. In this video we're talking all about scout rifles, more specifically the perks that I personally think make a scout rifle a god roll scout rifle. Now, altogether there are five different archetypes of scout rifle. Uh, real quick, we'll go ahead and get this one out of the way. The Mita is its own archetype. It's the only weapon in the game that has this archetype. You can see the DIS-47, which is a low impact, high rate of fire, and the Not Like the Others, which is a medium impact, medium rate of fire. The Mita Multi-Tool fits in between these two. Uh, additionally, the Jade Rabbit on the PlayStation side of things fits above the Cockatus SR4 as a super high impact scout. Now, we're not going to talk about those because you have no customization as far as perks go on those two weapons. So for the sake of this video, we're only going to be talking about these three archetypes. So starting down here with the low impact high rate of fire, you can see that we have a Suros DIS-47. Now this is the exact same archetype as the Inward Lamp from Trials of Osiris, as well as the NL Shadow 701X from the Crucible. So we'll come back to this one in just a second. Again, this is the low impact high rate of fire. Now for mid impact, mid rate of fire, we have a not like the others here from the Vanguard Quartermaster. Similar archetypes to this would be the Suros DIS-43, not to be confused with the 47, as well as the Hung Jury from Dead Orbit, which a lot of people love. Uh, lastly, we have the high impact, low rate of fire represented by the Cockatus SR4. Similar archetypes to this would be Call of Vance's Duty from the Iron Banner, as well as the Badger CCL from the Vanguard packages. So, now that we have all that cleared up and everybody's on the same page, let's talk DIS-47 or low impact, high rate of fire. So taking a look at this thing, you can see that I have hammer forged, full auto, and rifled barrel. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can go with this, and my personal favorite, again, it comes down to play style. This particular perk set that I'm going to describe right now fits my play style to the T. This is a very good rushing weapon. If you're going to be all up in the enemy's business, and uh, I'm mainly talking PvE in this video, guys, just so there's no confusion. I'm, I'm a primary PvE player, so not much Crucible going on here, but we're just going to kind of focus on PvE for the most part. But uh, I'm the type of guy that I like to rush up into the enemies, even in raids, and it doesn't always work out well, but, you know, with the right weapons, you stand a pretty good chance. Now... The lower impact, higher rate of fire scouts, I look at these bad boys as if it does not have full auto, I'm not touching it because my trigger finger, I don't want to pull the trigger that fast. These things shoot so fast and they do such low impact. I don't know. If it doesn't have full auto, I just, I instantly dismantle these. With full auto, these things are so much fun to use, man. Um, I've personally had an NL Shadow with full auto. I've had this one, obviously, with full auto. And I haven't gotten an inward lamp with full auto yet, but it's it's a really fun archetype to use. Now, with this type of scout rifle, what you really want to focus on is stability, especially if you're rocking the full auto. If you don't have full auto here, I would say the next best thing would probably be hidden hand. But uh, you can see here that we have hammer forged, improved range and accuracy. This is the perfect perk to have right here. Full auto, perfect perk to have right here. And lastly, we have rifled barrel, which increases range, but slows your reload. I do not like this perk at all, but I will take it over single point sling because that doesn't really do anything for me. But uh, right here, I would much rather have something like hand laid stock. Uh, you want to have max stability. If you have max stability on this weapon with full auto, you, sir, have a god roll DIS-47 or a god roll NL Shadow. Any of the high or high rate of fire, low impact scouts, full auto, max stability, that's what you want to go for. That's where you're going to get the most out of this. As far as sights go, um, I just prefer, you know, I don't, they have options for range sights. I don't see the point in putting a range sight on this because it is so low. You want to play this really close to enemies as opposed to playing from a distance like the other two scout rifles we're going to look at. But... I mean, it's it's all up to you, man. This is, again, my preference. Try it out. Let me know what you think. So moving on to the medium impact, medium rate of fire types of scout rifles represented here by the not like the others. Now, as far as scout rifle goes, this is the most balanced archetype in the game without a doubt. This one offers the most customization. 
uh, in the sense that you can play it as a long range scout, you can play it as a medium range scout, you can play it as a close range scout. There's a lot of different ways that you can go with this. And because of that, it's all going to come down to your play style. So you want to focus on kind of keeping range and stability relatively even on this one. It doesn't shoot fast enough to where stability is really going to be that much of a factor unless you have a full auto roll on this weapon. And uh, me personally, I would never want a scout rifle of this archetype with full auto. I kind of think it's pointless. But there's a lot of people out there that dig it, man. There's a lot of people out there that want it. So if you're going full auto, I would say focus on stability. If you're not going full auto, I would say focus more on range. I prefer to use the ranged sights on this type of scout just because I like to kind of hang back and play this one medium to long range as opposed to the DIS-47 archetype where I like to play it close and fast. But uh, some other good perks to have on this, I would much rather have Firefly in this slot. Uh, explosive rounds can be okay on this one. It does enough damage to where when you sacrifice that one-third damage and disperse it into the area, with explosive rounds that it still does enough damage to the target that you're actually shooting to where it's acceptable. Uh, the DIS-47, I'm not even sure if it come, if, if it's an option to have explosive rounds, but that would just be terrible. <laughs> I, there, would, there would be no point in that. Um, I prefer to use something to increase the magazine size. You can see here that we have a 21 round clip. If I change it, it drops down to 17. So a 21 round clip on this type of scout rifle, you're gonna do some pretty good damage before you have to reload. So that's definitely, definitely great. Um, this right here is a crap perk. Uh, by the way, the scout that you're looking at right now, this is the Vanguard Vendor Roll. I just went and picked it up for the, or picked it up from the Vanguard Quartermaster uh, just for the sake of making this video. I actually don't use this archetype of scout rifle. I like to go to the extremes. I like to have my low impact, high rate of fire or my super high impact, lower rate of fire. Scouts. I like to go one way or the other. I don't really go for balance. Um, I just, I kind of play situations as they present themselves. But again, just to recap, if you have full auto, then I would say stability is king. If you're not going full auto and you want to do more of a range build, then obviously you're going to want range on and maybe something to increase your magazine size, whether it be triple tap right here or casket mag or um, not filled, ex extended mag, I think is an option on this one. Uh, that's kind of what you want to focus on for this guy. Now, for the last scout rifle, which is the lowest rate of fire and the highest impact. Now, this one is actually my favorite type of scout rifle in the game right now. Um, because this thing, it's actually really versatile if you have the right build on it. Now, when I look at this, I see not a scout rifle, but a miniature sniper rifle. And that's how I would like to build this you know, as being, is a mini mini sniper rifle, not just a scout rifle. So I'm going to go with the range side on this one. Uh, this Icarus, I this is a complete wasted perk. I would much rather have triple tap here because this 12-round magazine is going to hold me back quite a bit. I have to reload very often. Triple tap would be perfect here. Uh, here, hand laid stock, this thing shoots so slow that your stability does not matter whatsoever, guys. You want something here to give you a boost to range. That's what you want in this slot right here. And lastly, if you want to play this like a sniper again, maybe get another range perk on this side. But uh, I prefer Firefly just because it's really fun. This thing is super accurate and it does have really good base range. That's what you're seeing right now is the base range with the uh, range sight. If I change the sight up, you can see that it drops it just a little bit. But actually, if I take hand laid stock off and put single point sling on then it'll boost my range up a little bit more but for these two I would I feel like I'm going to get more use out of hand laid stock but I would definitely like to have something here to boost actual range but uh firefly man it's it's really fun just you're basically sniping enemies from a, across the map and blowing their heads up it's incredibly fun and I said we weren't going to talk about crucible much in this video this weapon right here, man, it's my favorite Crucible weapon. I like to play Crucible at distance. I don't like to rush a lot. And this thing is a four-shot headshot, or a four-headshot kill. And, uh, you know, it does shoot kind of slow, so you have to make sure that you land all four of the shots that you take. You don't want to miss one and have to fire five shots or maybe six to get those four to hit. But if you get the hang of this, and this thing has very strong target 
target acquisition. That's hard to say, man. I always struggle with it. But uh, it does have really strong target acquisition, so it's relatively easy to get those four shots. And as far as PvE goes, uh, again, range, great for bosses. Um, this is this is pretty much my go-to scout, man. But um, just to recap on this one, stability doesn't really matter. Uh, range is definitely going to be the way that you want to go. And maybe something like armor-piercing rounds would even be good because, you know, it has such high impact that it will stagger the enemies if you have armor-piercing rounds or, um, what is it, oversized rounds or something like that. I forget what they're called. But, um... Uh, yeah, so there you have it, guys. Uh, just to recap, the high rate of fire, low impact. You want to go full auto, and you want to max stability. For the medium scout rifles, you want to either pick one or the other. You want to go stability or range, or you can balance them. And, you know, just do it accordingly. If you're going range, then you want to use that uh, ranged lens. If you're going for full auto, then you want to go ahead and try to get that stability up as much as you can. And for the high impact, low rate of fire, you want to build this thing like a mini scout rifle. This is not a rushing weapon by, excuse me, by any means whatsoever. You don't want to run to a crowd of, you know, high level enemies going pa, 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 pa. <laughs> You're not going to do much with this in that scenario. You want to hang back, you want to snipe, and you want to, uh, you know, play it safe with this guy. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and do this real quick too. With this guy, when I'm using the DIS-47, I like to pair that with a sniper rifle because this guy has no range whatsoever. I know that the range is maxed out, but it's such a low impact. Well, not maxed out, but close to it. Um, it's such a low impact scout rifle that at range, it's not going to do much. And it shoots so fast, and the stability is so low because the range is maxed out that it's, it's pretty much pointless. If they're a decent enough distance. If they're more than mid-range away, I don't even bother with this guy. So that's why I always pair him with a sniper rifle. Now this guy right here, you can pair that with a sniper or a shotgun or a fusion rifle. It's very versatile. And like I said, this is without a doubt the most balanced scout rifle archetype in the game. Uh, if you're just now getting into scout rifles, I would say start with something like this. Uh, with this guy right here, because it is a mini sniper, essentially, I typically don't run with a sniper. I usually keep a shotgun because, like I was saying, with this dude, you're not going to you know, run into a big crowd of high-level enemies going pata, pata, pata. No, you don't, you're not going to do that. So that's like running up to a captain with just a, you know, a sniper rifle. It's probably not going to end well. You might get lucky. You might kill him. But I like to pair this one with a shotgun. Unless I'm doing something like a Nightfall or something like that, then I'll run, you know, the high impact with another sniper, and I will pair it with something like this, you know, or uh, something like that. But uh, anyway, guys, drop a comment in the box below. Let me know what perks you think are the absolute best ones to have on these scout rifles. And also, if you're going to tell me that, go ahead and tell me your play style, too, just to kind of get an idea of what we're all working with here, guys. But anyway, that's going to bring this video to an end. If you enjoyed this, also comment down below. And let me know if you'd like to see these for any other types of weapons, these types of videos where I just tell you which perks I like to have on them. But anyway, that's going to bring this video to an end, guys. If you enjoyed it, click like if you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys.